we learn about additional fractions that have different denominators. For instance, if you are given a fraction like this one to add, basically, you're supposed to follow the following steps. Step one, you find the LCM. If you look at these fractions, you realize that the denominators are different. Here, the denominator is five, and here it's nine. Therefore, we need to express them under common denominator. And that's why you need to apply LCM. So step one, let's get the LCM of these denominators. The LCM of five and nine, we can use the two methods. The first method is a table. So here, we look for a common divisor and five and nine, they don't have a common divisor. So which number can divide nine? So three can divide nine because of three. Then three again here, we get one and one. So we take our five there because five is a prime number. So it can't have a divisor. It's only divisible by one and itself. And therefore, after getting one, one here, we pick these numbers and we multiply them. Three times three, it's nine. 9 times 5 is 45. Another way of doing it is by getting the multiples of these denominators. So multiples of 5 are 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 9 is 45. Now, let's do also multiples of 9. 9 times 1 is 9, times 2 18, times 3 27, times 4 that's 6, times 5 45, times 6 54, times 7 63. And now when you look at these multiples, we will pick a common one but a least one. That is LCM. Least common multiple. So which multiple is common? 45 and 45 is common. Is common. And therefore the LCM of 5 and 9 is 45. So you make sure now you rename them. Renaming meaning means that you express the, uh, the fraction under the same denominator. And the denominator is 45. So you draw this line here and our 45 is down here as our denominator. Now let's rename it. 45 divided by 5 it's 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 45 Divide by 9, it's 5. 5 times 5, it's 25. After that, we apply step 3. You add 27 plus 25. You get 12. You get 5. 52 divide by 45. So 52 divided by 45. How many 45s are there? So you say 52 divide by 45. It's 1 because of 45. So 12 minus 5, it's 7. 7 cannot divide 45, so it remains. And now 1 is our whole number, and 7 takes up the fraction part. Now let's solve our next example. You are given 1 over 6 plus 2 over 5. Again, we apply the steps. Let's find the LCM of our denominators, the LCM of 6 and 5. We have said... We, we can apply the two methods of a diagram. So this table, for getting the LCM, we look for a common divisor between 6 and 5. And because 5 is a prime number, it can't have a common divisor with 6. So let's try to 2 times 3 is 6, and our 5 remains. Then it brings 3 here. 3 times 1 is 3, and our 5 remains. Then you take 5 outside here, and then remain with 1, 1. So 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Or now we can get the LCM by getting the multiples. Multiples of 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Times 2 is 12. Times 3 is 18. Times 4 24. Times 5 30. Times 6 that is 6. That's 7. Times 7 42. Let's get also the multiples of 5. 5 times 1 5. Times 2 10. Times 3 15. Times 4 20 times 5, 25 times 6, 30 times 7, 35 times 8, 40 times 9, 49, 45. And therefore, now we look for a common divide, uh, and, and therefore, now we look for a common multiple, and the common multiple is 30. Therefore, our LCM is 30. Now we move on to the next step. 
whereby step two we are renaming the fraction so we draw this big line there and we put our lcm under that line and we put our lcm under that line so our lcm is 30 so 30 divided by 6 is 5 5 times 1 is 5 plus 30 divided by 5 it's 6. 6 times 2, it's 12. Now we have renamed our fraction. The next step, it says we add. So 5 plus 12, it's 17 out of 30. Now in this kind of a fraction, you don't need to simplify because these are if odd number, these are even number. So they don't have a common divisor. You leave your answer like that. Let's meet doing the next video where you're going to learn about addition of mixed fractions with different denominators. Bye-bye.